Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, GTR Math Tutorial. Uh, so in this video, uh, we will discuss about uh, converting a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. Okay, so in converting normal random variable to standard normal uh, variable, we will use the standard normal score or the Z-score. So Z-score or standard, standard score tells how many standard deviation a value is away from the mean. So a negative Z-score tells that the value is below the mean, while a positive Z-score tells that the value is above the mean. So a Z-score is unitless, thus even uh, values of different units could be compared relative to their groups. So... A Z-score is a measure of location. So, kung gusto nating malaman ang location natin sa distribution, so gagamit tayo ng Z-score. So, ito yung nagsasabi kung ilang percent yung uh, nataasan natin or, at ilang percent naman yung mas mataas natin. Okay, so here's the formula. So, standard normal score or Z-score formula, Z equals X minus mu over sigma. Okay, so where Z is the standard normal score or Z-score, X, any data value in a normal distribution or the row score, mu equals the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. So if the given is the row score, so we will convert that to Z-score. Okay, so given X, convert natin sa Z. So, paano naman kapag ang given is Z-score, then convert natin to Rho-score. Okay, so derive lang natin yung formula from this formula. So, solve natin yung X. So, isolate natin. Dapat X lang yung matira sa right side. Okay, so to do that, eliminate muna natin yung denominator. Multiply both sides of the equation by sigma. Okay? So, we have C times sigma equals uh, quantity X minus mu over sigma times sigma. Okay, so cancel out sigma. Okay, so we have Z times sigma equals X minus mu. Then, lipat natin yung uh, mu sa kabila or add mu to both sides para ma mawala na yung mu. So, we have Z times sigma plus mu equals x. So, pagpalitin lang natin yung pwesto. So, therefore, the formula for if the given is z-score and we want to convert that to row score, so we have x equals z times sigma plus mu. So, ito yung dalawang gagamitin natin sa lesson na ito. So, if given is the row score, mu, and the standard deviation, so we will use this, this formula. z equals x minus mu over sigma. Then, if the given is the z-score, the mean, and the standard deviation, so we will use this formula. Okay, example. Oh, let us illustrate muna yung pagko-convert ng uh, normal random uh, distribution to standard normal distribution. So, uh, given we have mu equals 23 and sigma equals 2.5, so draw the normal distribution. And so, mean is 23. So, nagsagit na yung 23. Then, add 2.5 sa right and subtract 2.5 sa left hanggang 3 standard deviations lang. Since according to empirical rule, di ba? 3 standard deviation, 99.7% uh, of the distribution lies within the 3 standard deviations from the mean. Okay, so, when we convert that to standard normal distribution... So, yung mean natin magiging uh, uh, mean natin magiging 0 and standard deviation is 1. Okay? So, ito yung standard normal distribution. So, pag-isahin lang natin. Yan. So, para mas madaling uh, makita. So, yan. So, yung magkatapat lang yung mean natin, 23.0, kung na-convert na siya sa 0. Okay, then... Yung mga uh, standard deviation natin, so magiging 1, 2, 3, then sa left, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. 
Okay, example number one. So this course of students in the mid-year examination for statistics has a mean of 35 and a standard deviation of 4. Find the z-scores corresponding to each of the following. Okay, so given muna tayo. Ang mean daw natin is 35 and standard deviation is 4. Okay? So, first example. Yan ah. Find the z-scores when x equals 37. So, use the formula. So, we have z equals x minus mean over standard deviation. So, i-substitute lang natin yung mga values natin. So, in 37, substitute sa x. Then, we have mu 35, substitute sa mu. And then, standard uh, deviation natin for substitute lang natin dito. Okay, so substitute. So, we have 37 minus 35 divided by 4. So, 37 minus 35, that is 2 divided by 4. So, therefore, z is 0.5. Okay, so ganun lang kasimple. Next, letter B, when x equals 25, so substitute ulit natin, sa formula natin. So we have x minus mu over standard deviation. So we have x is 25 minus mu is 35 and then standard deviation is 4. So substitute, so we have 25 minus 35 Divided by 4. So, 25 minus 35 is negative 10. Divided by 4. That is negative 2.5. Okay, next. C, x equals 40. So, substitute again to the formula. Okay, so we have x minus mu over standard deviation. So, we have 40 minus 35 divided by 4. So, 40 minus 35, that is 5 divided by 4 is 1.25 okay uh, find the z-score when x equals 28 so substitute again to the formula x minus mu over standard deviation so we have x is 28 x is 28 mu is 35 and then sigma is 4 so therefore we have 28 minus 35 Divided by 4, so we have 28 minus 35, that is negative 7. Divided by 4 is negative 1.75. Okay, another example. Number 2. Suppose IQ scores are normally distributed with a mean of 105 and a standard deviation of 9. If your IQ is 97, what is your Z-score? So, round off your answer to the nearest hundreds. Okay, so given muna tayo. So, mean is 105 and standard deviation is 9. So, if your IQ is 97, so that means uh, 97 is X. So, inahanap natin is what is your Z-score? Okay, so given mu equals 105, standard deviation is 9, X equals 97. So, substitute to the, use the formula. Z equals X minus mu over sigma. Then substitute the given. We have X is 97. So substitute lang natin dito. Then we have mu is 105. So dito naman yon sa mu. And then standard deviation, sigma is 9. So substitute natin dito. Therefore we have 97 minus 105 divided by 9. So, subtract muna ang numerator, 97 minus 105, that is negative 8 divided by 9. So, magiging sagot dyan, negative 8 divided by 9 is negative 0.888888. Ano yan? Repeating yan na 8. So, round off lang natin, 2 decimal lang tayo or to the nearest hundred. So, therefore, the, the z-score of the score 97 is negative 0.89. Okay, nasa left side siya. So, mas, mas mababa sa mean. Okay? So, example 3. The heights of teachers in Pagsangan Integrated National High School are normally distributed with a mean of 155 cm and a standard deviation of 12 cm. The height of Sir Angelo has a z-score of 2.21. What is the actual height of Sir Angelo? So, round off your answer to the nearest hundreds. 
So, given muna tayo. So, mean ay normally distributed daw with a mean of 155 cm. Yung mean natin, standard deviation is 12 cm. So, ano pa yung given? The height of Sir Angelo has a Z-score of 2.21. So, this time, ang given yung Z-score, 2.21. So, ang hinahanap natin, what is the actual height of Sir Angelo? Okay, so sulat natin, given natin. Given mu equals 155 cm, sigma is 12, and then c equals 2.21. So, ang hinahanap naman natin dito ay yung x ang hinahanap natin. So, ang gagamitin natin formula ay yung pangalawang formula. So, we have x equals z times uh, sigma plus mu. Okay, so substitute lang natin yung mga given natin. So, z equals 2.21. Palit natin dito. Then, we have sigma is 12 centimeter. So, dito yung sigma 12 and then mu is 155. Okay, so substitute lang. So, we have 2.21 times 12 plus 155. So, just use your calculator. So, therefore, x is 181.52 centimeter. So, uh, therefore, the height of Sir Angelo is 181.52 cm. Okay, next example. The mean number of hours a Filipino worker spends on the computer is 3.1 hours per workday. Assume the standard deviation is 0.5 hour and is normally distributed, how long does a worker spend on the computer if his z-score is negative 1.31? Okay, so given... 3.1 hours per day. O, yun. Mean number of hours. So, Filipino worker is 3.1 hours per work day. And the standard deviation is 0.5. So, how long does a worker spend on the computer if his Z-score is negative 1.31? So, given ang Z-score, so, ang hinahanap ulit natin ay X. Okay? So, mu is 3.1 hour. Sigma is 0.5 hour and Z is 1.31. So, ang hinahanap ulit natin ay value ng X. Okay? So, use the formula for um, X. X equals Z times Sigma plus Mu. So, substitute the given. We have uh, Z is negative 1.31. Sigma is 0.5. And then, mu is 3.1. So, substitute lang natin yung tatlong yan. So, we have negative 1.31 times 0.5 plus 3.1. So, yan yung value ng x. So, just use the calculator. Your calculator. So, x equals 2.45 hour. So, a worker is spend 2.45 hour on the computer if his z-score is negative 1.31. So, nasa left side siya ng normal distribution natin. Okay, last example. So, the average uh, weight for women in Barangay Pinagsama, Tagig City, is 50 kilograms with a standard deviation of, of 5 kilogram. If the weights are normally distributed, what is the z-score of a woman with a weight of 53 kilogram? So, kunin muna natin ang given. Okay, so given natin, average weight of women in barangay pinagsama is 50 kg. So, yan. Mu is 50 kg. With a standard deviation of 5 kg. So, sigma or standard deviation is 5 kg. What is the z-score? So, z-score ang hinahanap dito sa letter A natin. Of a woman with a weight of 53 kg. So, 53 kg, that is the value of x. So, ang hinahanap natin is z score. Okay, so use this. So, ito muna yung given natin. Yan. So, use the formula for z dahil lang hinahanap natin ay z score. Then, substitute the values. We have x is 53. Palit lang natin dun sa x. Then, mu is 50 kilograms. Then, standard deviation, 5 kilogram dito sa baba. Okay, so substitute. We have 53 minus 50 divided by 5. 
So, 53 minus 50, that is 3, divided by 5. So, therefore, the Z-score of a woman with a weight of 53 kilogram is 0.6. Okay, next example. Next question. Letter B, what is the Z-score of a woman with a weight of 44 kilogram? So, same uh, mean and standard deviation. So, yung X napalitan lang ng 44 kilogram. Okay? So, mu is 50, sigma is 5, and then X is 44 kilogram. So, uh, again, ang hinahanap natin ay Z. What is the Z-score? Okay? So, use the formula for Z. Z equals X minus mu over sigma. So, substitute the values. So, we have 44 kilogram, substitute sa X. Then 50 kilograms, substitute sa mu. And then 5 kilograms, substitute sa sigma. Okay? So we have 44 minus 50 divided by 5. So simplify the numerator. 44 minus 50, that is negative 6. Divided by 5 is negative 1.2. Okay? So therefore, the z-score of a woman with a weight of 44 kilograms is negative 1.2. Okay, next question. How many kilograms corresponds to a z-score of 1.5 of the weight of woman? So, ang given natin, ganun pa rin. Mean is 50. Standard deviation is 5. So, ngayon, ang hinahanap naman natin ay value ng x. How many kilograms corresponds to a z-score of 1.5? So, ang z-score natin, 1.5. So, aanamin natin kung ano yung value ng x natin. Okay. So, mu equals 50, sigma is 5, z equals 1.5. So, ang hinahanap natin is x. So, use the formula for x. So, we have x equals z times sigma plus mu. So, substitute all the given. So, we have 1.5. Substitute natin dito sa z. Then, we have 5 kilograms. Substitute sa sigma. And then, 50. Substitute natin dito sa mu. Therefore, we have x equals 1.5 times 5 plus 50. Okay, 1.5 times 5, that is 7.5 plus 50 is 57.5. So, therefore, the corresponding um, weight of a z-score of 1.5 is 57.5 kilograms. Okay, that's all. So, I hope... Uh, you learn something. So these are my references. Thank you for watching. So kung bago pa lang kayo, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo sa mga susunod pang mga videos. Bye-bye. God bless.